war movement um, and what it's bring, what it is bringing to Canada's identity and Canada's conscience is that our indigenous identity, our culture, isn't just an aesthetic means. It's not just something that's decorative. It's not just something that's a dress that we wear, feathers we put in our hair, and songs that we sing. It's an extension of who we are as an, within our identity. Much like a, a Catholic or Christian with their, rose, with their rosaries or their churches. Our identity is what you see. Our identity, which has been left behind, our historical context of who we are, has been denied today. It's, the denial is still going on right now. The genocide that has faced our people, the waves of oppression, the, the systematic matrix is against us, is still going on today. It's going to continue on after today. And we see it. We see in the academic structures where they miseducate youth, they miseducate people. Even in the post-secondary world, the miseducation still goes on because they deny us our genocide. They deny us that our ancestors were systematically destroyed. We see this within the laws and legislations of building right, behi building right behind us. The laws that they put up there to strip us of our identity. We see within the policing. We see it in the policing right now. Shame. Shame. And it doesn't matter if they're the, you know, the Victorian police, or it doesn't matter if the RCMP, we still have our murdered and our missing women that are going on right now. No more. And from these policing agencies, do we hear about a rigorous investigation no. to uncover this mystery? No. Do we hear it from the Victorian police? Never. No. They're denying that responsibility that these women, these human beings are going missing right. from one side of Turtle Island to the other. Shame! I don't expect them to start tomorrow. I don't expect them to make this acknowledgement all on their own. That's right. What I do expect is us as Canadians, as human beings, to pressure these systems to finally wake up and challenge this. That's right! No more! No more! We need to correct this unhealthy trait that Canada is in right now. We need to bring back the historical context and honor all those that have died and all those that are going to continue to die and be oppressed. We have to do this together because if not, the Indian Act is just going to rub us all out. That's right. the, the indigenous status is on its way out. Right now, if we do nothing, if we sit by, Canadians, people are just immigrating to Canada. It is your duty and your responsibility to lend out your hand and help those that are oppressed. That's what makes this country so great. That's what separates us from the rest of the world. We have that ability to do that here. And so I need you guys right now to join with me.